Hey yo, what's up guys? Boom Pregnant here. Finally back with another video this time. We got the 2022 Mega Tins. We pre-ordered two cases of these. We're only going to open the one today. Uh, we'll we'll see what happens with the pulls from this one and then we'll uh, go further. But uh, without further ado, one of the best tins, uh, if, if the ratios are not like last year's, uh, these could be the best tins we've had in a while. So let's shift the case off my desk so I can actually get some, uh, fit some of these tins in the shot. And I think I'll do them on a 10 by 10 basis. So 12 tins. We're gonna start with this one and we'll work our way through. Uh, I don't know if I should use my scissors to unleash these tins because again, it's just plastic. I could just, you know, eh. Use my prowess to uh, unsheath the tin, uh, but um, yeah, we got the three Egyptian gods. We can finally complete our tin uh, tablet, um, which I know some of you may have been anticipating. I am just looking for all those good secret rare staple reprints. So you know, part of prosper, <laughs> part of prosperity. Um, what else is in the secret? Uh, Power Prosperity, Lightning Storm, like so many good cards. Uh, I think we're just gonna, because scissors might take a while. Actually, I might use scissors because I want to make pack arts for my binders. So we've got to be careful with the packs. So first pack of the 2022 Mega Tins. What do we have here? We have Zexal Alliance, Albion, uh, Gizmek Tangiku, Starmine, Chronomaly, Magula Globe, Magitractor, uh, Gigadra, and Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill with another tin reprint. It was reprinted in last year's tins. It now here is a super rare. So Trap Tricks Kularia. Cool, cool, cool. Dark Infant at Ignista. Okay, okay. Ultra Rare Bump Up. That's nice. Sexual Construction. No idea what this card does. I'll have a read of it later. And the first secret rare we get is a Ghost Ogre. Arm um, Dragon Level 10 White. We pulled it. Uh, MBT's favorite card. <laughs> uh, we've got the magic key stuff. I might as well just skip through the commons because it's stuff you guys have seen throughout uh, the year. I will be sleeving the secret rares. So I've got my trusty pack of sleeves to the side. I'll just sleeve up my ghost ogre as our first pull of the tins. It's not a bad little pull, uh, albeit I have like a bajillion copies of ultra rare ghost ogres. I will take a secret rare. So second pack of the first tin, and let's hope for a secret rare spell this time. So we've got uh, Ramarin, uh, Ingunar, Zexal uh, Intrust, Armed Dragon Lightning, uh, Guitar Gunard Dugonosis, Terror of the Underroot, M-Pen as a super, so they dropped down the rarity for M-Pen, Ice J Tremora super, was this originally a super or is this a common that got a rarity bump? Not sure. Uh, Earth Chant, uh, an earth ritual spell, okay. Uh, reinforcement of the army's troops. Okay, bad rotor that's continuous. <gasps> oh, and there's one of the cards we wanted! Part of Prosperity! Let's go! Let's freaking go. I'm happy about pull. I know we'll eventually get a pull one, but, um, and then we've got Ultimate Dragonic Utopia Ray. You know what? The rest of the pack there doesn't matter. And we've got a Meow's Click. But Pot of Prosperity! This is a card. I've been wanting forever, it's just I was not happy spending a hundred pound per copy. And there we go, first tin, second pack, a Prospy. Those two secret rares aren't that bad from a tin. These are actually really good. If I was a new Yu-Gi-Oh player starting off, a Ghost Ogre, Prospy, the fact that um, Fl Flu is in this set, you could probably build a Flu deck and start, you know, playing the game from with that and then building whatever you want from there. Um, Ikura, the Gun Conserve ship. Uh, um, some of these cards I'm going to butcher. Ank, Wind Witch Chimes, that was a super originally. Sun Avalon Melius. Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, another good super reprint. Uh, we got Dan Maria Ignista. Thresh <laughs> Threshold Borg. Uh, the, okay. Machina, Machina, Un, Unclass Spare. I think it's got a little bit of edge wear there at the top. And Albion, the Branded Dragon. Not the best of secret rares, but we'll take it. Judge of the Ice Barrier. And then just the commons. Yeah, Albion has been printed so many times. Originally an ultra. 
uh, in was it Leov, um, Lightning Overdrive, and then common in the structure decks. So that's our first three secrets, and that was the first tin. The Prospy is what uh, made that one for me, really. Uh, they're probably a bit off shot, but I need space, so that's fine. On to the second tin. So hopefully we'll get through this video in an adequate rate. If not, we'll uh, split it into parts, uh, depending on how long I can upload for. I don't think I'll be able to upload the full uh, thing in one go due to uh, YouTube restrictions. Um, I used to be able to upload like 30 minutes of videos, but uh, it's not the case anymore. Um, you have to have a certain degree in order to do so. Uh, right, I am so happy about that second pack. Uh, we're going straight in onto the next tin. I should really just close these instead of putting them to the side like that, uh, like I did with the first one, because now my desk is full of crud. Uh, if we see good ultras, we'll also save them, like very good ultras. Ooh, I butchered this pack. Uh, let me try and, yep, salvage it a bit. So, Judgment of the Branded, Terror of the Underroot. I think all we care about is the hollow stuff, right? Despian uh, Tragedy is a common. Sunvine Crossbreed. Masquerade, that hurts because I have loads of spare ultras in my binder. I <laughs> should have got rid of them. Uh, Soul Energy Max, so that's a new card, I believe. Uh, contact with the Abyss and Arm um, Dragon Thunder level 7. Yeah, we kind of saw it because I went a bit too fast. And a rare Rabina. No, oh, rarity downgrade, I guess. Uh, they needed a lower rarity Rabina. I, I would have been happy with an Ultra, you know. Rarity bump cards. Don't lower the rarity unless you want them to, like, common charity and stuff like that. Uh, of which you, you probably... Yeah, I'm going to butcher these packs and I'm going to need them for uh, binders. So I'm going to use my trusty scissors for some of these packs if I see that I'm going to butcher them. Uh, Ta-da! Trusty orange scissors off to the side. And second pack of the second tin. Can we keep the second pack, like, streak going of really good pulls? <laughs> so we've got Ikura. Uh, the, oh, Cordius, the Delman. That's a super poly target, I guess. Uh, Blizzard Bell. You and I. Fable and Wraith. Stairway to the Fabled Realm. Screams of the Branded. Slower Swallow. Kind of looks like a Pokemon to me. Abyss Keeper, this was originally a common. Baby Mud Dragon, okay, okay, and Tri Brigade Kit, Rarity Bump. I don't mind that one bit. Unfortunately, it's not like a super amazing pull, but it's a decent one. We'll take the uh, Rarity uh, upgrade of Kit. So, so far, uh, I'd say two duds, because I'd count the Ghost Ogre as a good pull. I, I think Ghost Ogre, Prosby, I, I mean, Albion, you can argue for, same with the Arm Dragon, but I think, like, Kit's decent, um, Pot of Prosperity's good, Ghost Ogre's decent as well. So we've got Eater the Sun Magician, Freeze Bell, Comedy, Arm Dragon Blitz, Basil, Rose Shoot, wait, was this printed, like, in those sets? Okay, didn't know that. Super Rare Ruin Force, uh, this was originally an Ultra from Bode, White Knight of Dogmatica. Yep, <laughs> enough said about that card. Uh, Danger, Disturbance, Disorder. Nibiru, that's an Ultra we want to sleeve. And Dual Tower, okay. And then Magic, Magifine, Trousfoil Trau Mine. I think that was a super. This is also a super in Bode. There's a lot of Bode cards in this pack. It's a lot of Bode. A lot of Bode. Uh, we'll sleeve up the Dual uh, Tower and we'll sleeve up the Nibiru because Nibiru is a really good Ultra Rare to pull. Uh... Like, this card has been printed so much this year, so Ultra Rare Nibiru there. Um, yeah, we're, like, slowly running out of, like, space if I do that. So I'm just going to do one pile there to the side, and we're on to the third tin. Third tin out of 12. Might have to split this after the third. I might have, actually, no, if I do three videos, four tins each, makes sense, potentially. We'll see. We'll see when I'm uh, looking at uh, uploading or editing what I need to do. Uh, so, maybe I should have just opened the packs rather than going by a tin by tin basis. Um, so far, each tin has had one, at least one really nice pull, like Nibiru in the second tin and uh, Prosby in the first. I mean, I could do with some Forbidden Droplets. I wouldn't mind some Forbidden Drip. Also wouldn't mind, um, I lost my trusty scissors. Also wouldn't mind uh, Lightning Storms, because uh, when I opened my case of King's Court, which I didn't upload on the channel, I opened it at a friend's house, I pulled one Lightning Storm. 
one lightning storm and one utopic future. Imagine. Worst case ever. Anyway, Sacred Tree Beast Hyperton, Angel Statue. Yeah, Branded in White, Star Mine, Steel Regulator. So Magic Thunders, this was a common originally, and Bode. Gunkin Su Ship Shari, Threshold Borg. All these ultras are just bad. Apex Predation and hmm, ZS X Ascended Sage is not a bad secret rare if you want to play the uh, Utopia stuff. Proof of Prulaflas, I've never seen that card. That's kind of cute. Uh, oh, we got Pros uh, Proskenian here as a common. That's, well, I guess, eh, it's okay. But um, Sexual Sage, good reprint, I think. It was needed. Those uh, cards were ridiculously priced. Um, so it getting a reprint uh, is nice. And I think it's a rarity pump, but I think it was originally an ultra, right? So we got a Despian Tragedy. Uh, Fable Treason, Fable Ankh, uh, Converging Wills, Constellar Caduceus. Is he holding a Caduceus? Is that why he's called that? Anyway, Tri Brigade, Rendezvous, Ghost Mourner and Moonlit Chill, Book of Lunar Eclipse, a uh, secret rare that was downgraded. Liner, I needed one, because uh, I don't own one. Uh, da Dragon Lock and Crater Polymerization. I saw there was a Fusion secret. Uh, sorry. I saw that it was a spell, secret rare. I was like, oh, is it going to be one of the good ones? Mm, that's going to be the bait card for these tins. So you got Eaglin as a rare, so rarity downgrade, and then uh, all the other stuff. So we'll just sleeve up the Greater Poly for now. And on to the third and final pack. Will this finally be one of the dud tins? Are we going to get a dud tin? So nothing really like amazing from this one so far. Azortless, Freeze Battle, Melius, Bujin Candescence, Sexual Alliance, Thunder Dragon Level 5, Beast King Unleashed, Pegasus Twin Saber. Oh, that's cute. Oto Otoshida Mashi, uh, <laughs> Tri Brigade Bearbrum, and Ooh, Lightning Storm. Okay, okay, Lightning Storm's really good. Lavalval, X Lord. You know what? N no dud. Not a dud. That one was really awesome. Lightning Storm. So we've pulled a Lightning Storm and we've pulled a Pot of Prosperity. Um, that's three tins in. Uh, I think we're, we're, we're good. Like one, one good hit per tin is not, not bad. Like one really good hit. So my really good hit for the second one was the Nibiru, I'd say. Nibiru is still a really good card. Uh, I think uh, fairly priced as well. Um, like... You know, a decent, decent little card. And if I could, you know, stop struggling with the plastic, I could get this open quicker for you guys. But, um, oh, off screen for a second there, just so I can actually oh, open the tin up. Oh, and that one was eager to get out. Oh, sorry. There we go. Pack numero quattro. Numero quattro. So, so far, from what I've seen is these tins are well, like worth picking up, especially like um, if you're like looking for just like, you know, you want to open something random and uh, you want to get some money back. I think these ones are, are good. Unlike last year's where everything was, uh, you know, uh, really hard to pull. Yakamori, Master Diplomat. Okay, we're just going to skim through those. Sunship, ship White Knight. Is this the same thing again? Synchro Overtake, a good uh, downgrade. Uh, it was Secret Rare originally. Branded Bond and... Ooh, Underworld, Goddess of the C uh, Closed World. That's a good one. Because that was like a £30 Secret Rare, I think. Or thereabouts, 25 30 uh, I know one of my friends really likes the artwork on this card. And... You know, might might lend him if he ever needs to play the game. Because <laughs> I know he'll definitely build a deck around that card. But yeah, that's that's a really beautiful card. Let me just... If I can get the angle correct. There we go. I apologise if the lighting is poor. Kind of struggle with my room lighting at the moment. Especially since I've moved my desk. Uh, but hopefully... Hopefully I can, uh, I've got uh, the facilities to improve that. So we've got Diplomat again. We've got the little black eyes. Okay, right. An Expendable Eye. Book of Lunar Eclipse. Armed Sage. Stardust Trail. Armed Dragon Thunder Level 10. And another kit. And then white again. 
Uh, and yeah, there's, there's some really good commons here that were super rares. I'm surprised uh, that they uh, downgraded a lot of those um, uh, good supers rather than upgrading them and then having this like uh, chase balance like they normally do. Um, but no, this is good. This is good. Uh, all the secret, most of the secret rares are really good. Uh, there's a few duds, but you know, you you gotta have some duds. You can't just have uh, bangers on every pack. So Gigaboros, one Curry Way, Capon Cap 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 I can't. I just can't, guys. I'm sorry. Binary Blader, Sprite's Blessing. Otoshi, Damashi, and a Small World reprint, um, and Despia Theatre. That's that's nice. You could probably build Despias from this. Um, right. So, Small World. Yeah, it's a decent pull. Uh, reason why I'm not hyped for it is, well, I've already got my playset. Uh, I don't have, like, playsets of Pot or Droplets or... Um, oh, pot, Droplets, Lightning Storm. I don't have those. But... Um, yeah, um, Small Worlds I do, uh, so I'm not too hyped about that one. But uh, yeah, there's some really good secret rares in this set. Also, I think like DP's in here, uh, Dragoon's in here. That's a lot of like crazy stuff. They're like, what? They really reprinted that here? Oh yeah, Ash is in here. I still haven't uh, <laughs> seen an, an Ash. Um, that would be cool. Uh, huh, plastic. Numero five. I might have like an intermission as well uh, because I've got chores to do as well, which came out of the blue. So hopefully they don't get in the way too much. Uh, another Gizmac. I'm not going to try and pronounce you again because it's going to be bad. So we've got a Daphne, uh, Culinaria, Earth Chant, like a lot of these ultra rares I'm seeing repeated, uh, DDD Super Psych King Zero Maxwell, and uh, Drytron Mu Beta Fafnir with a Scout Buggy as a rare. That's a massive downgrade for the Scout Buggy. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think it was originally, what, Ultra or Secret? Uh, but Mu Beta Fafnir is not a little a bad little card, uh, I think. Like, are Drytrons now budget? Because right, Divine is in here as well, isn't it? So, will Tritron actually be a budget deck? That's a hilarious thought. Um, I think the Herald stuff is actually... No, we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll have a look. But I, I'm not uh, too interested in playing that. Uh, uh, da -da -da -da, Screams of the Branded. High Ritual Art. Gaia Armor Dragon Shell. Apex Predation. And, yeah, DP. <laughs> That's... Uh, that's my third DP. Uh, like I said, um, you know, Bode. I just opened a case of Bode, so, uh, you know, I'm not too uh, fussed about uh, DPEs and the like, uh, because we already have them. But the third one's not bad, I guess. It's something. <laughs> I'm really looking for those spells. But yeah, so far, I don't think any of these tins have, like, missed on like decent cards. Like obviously the prices aren't stable because it, it, it literally these tins what? They come out tomorrow or just came out? Like I just, mine just arrived. So it's like, damn, gotta open them straight away. Uh, white Baking, uh, Vesculo, Goki Finishing Move, Rebuild Ear, Dark Ruler No More, Good Ultra Rare Reprint, and another Armed Dragon. Um, but yeah, uh, how do I feel about Arm Dragon. Uh, it's the second one we've seen, right? So it's like the one we'll see most often. It's gonna be the the 50p secret rare. Uh, Dark Ruler No More, another good ultra reprint. I think it's one of the three good ultra reprints in this set. And um, yeah, so far, so good. Uh, on to pack, pack, 10 and number six. Pack number six, imagine. Imagine if we were that, like, <laughs> deep in, it's like, oh, we're going to open six packs. What have I been doing? <laughs> I'm really struggling today, guys. I'm terribly sorry. It's probably because my room is normally quite warm, and it's starting to heat up because of, you know, just insulation. Uh, in the winter, it's great. It's quite, it's quite, 
quite warm in the summer it's uh not not so good but uh hopefully the weather will cool down we apparently expected a heat wave in my area so uh i know right end of august mid-september heat wave it's crazy anyway Crossbreed, uh, Paleozoic, Heritage of Light, Level 10, and Ruddy Rose. That's a nice reprint as well. Uh, we'll take those. We'll take the Ruddy Rose Dragon. Like I said, um, we'll, we'll welcome all these like semi-expensive reprints from sets that aren't exactly like chase material, like uh, Lightning Overdrive, uh, Blazing, Vor is it Blazing Vortex. You know, those sets. We'll, we'll, we'll take those, you know? Take those. Right. We got Chronomaly Magala Globe, EMR. Spendable Die, level five. There's another Masquerade. Buck Lunar Eclipse, another liner. I, AI Meet You, and Branded Opening as a secret. This was, uh, this card's tanking in price, obviously because of its uh, reprint. Uh, also, it's a rarity bump now, so instead of getting the supers, you can get these secret ones. Um, yeah, it's a decent pull for the branded deck. I didn't know it was secret, I thought they, uh, like, made it, like, like they lowered the rarity or something. But no, oh, okay, secret rare. Also another bait spell that could be a good card, you know? Come on, we've, we've gotten one pot, one lightning storm. Am I just gonna get one of each? Am I gonna get, like, uh, just one droplet now and nothing else? Um, come on, give us some dupes. We need some dupes. Zhuan Yu, Goku finishing move. Toucan, another Nibiru, and Incredible Ecclesia the Virtuous. Kind of sad that that's uh, the only Sword Soul card in here, um, because I have, uh, like, uh, yeah, I have a playset of these in secret, and I've got a Starlight, so the fact that it got reprinted kind of hurts my evaluation. But that pack, that tin again, pretty decent, pretty good. Uh, no Sword Soul cards in here other than that, which uh, I wouldn't say the value of Sword Soul cards will go up, but I'm saying that in the future, if someone breaks something with Sword Soul, the fact that they're like Moyi is not reprinted and uh, uh, is a Chi Shao and uh, the level 10s uh, aren't in here just, mean, it just means that they will go up in value. Uh, I'm surprised they did, um, was it Trouble Sunny? I have loads of Trouble Sunnies. I have like 14 Trouble Sunnies in Ultra Rare from Bode, Spare. And um, yeah, like, I I'd expect more Soul Soul, but again, then again, like S Force aren't in here, War Rock aren't in here. They, like, they, they literally, like, there was so many uh, like bad cards or bad archetypes they could have reprinted, and some decent ones as well. But they didn't, which was a massive surprise. Um, they just went, nah, we're giving you good staples now. Making them cheaper for everyone. Get everyone into the game again, you know? When we're in a weird tier element uh, sprite format where actually none of these cards, or well, some of these cards will impact your decks, but not all of them. So we've seen all of these. Start of Synchron, and speaking of the Trouble Sunnies, there they are. Um, branded in red is a rare, so that's a downgrade. I actually have tons of supers. Should have gotten rid of mine. <laughs> um, but Trouble Sunny, uh, an extra copy for the trade binder, I guess. Actually, no, we're, we're making a collection binder for the tin set. Uh, we might open the other ca case. We might keep it sealed. Depends on the pulls, like I said. Uh, but if we don't get, like, a decent amount of, like, Oh, there's Ghost, uh, Sister and Spooky Dogwood. Another nice hand trap reprint. Tremora. Branded Bond. Pharaonic Guardian Saints. I think this is a tin exclusive, is it? Or was it printed in some random set? I don't know. And Dramaturge. Wah, wah, wow. And the Snell. Uh, funnily enough, I have uh, Secret Rare sla Like 20 Secret Rare Snells that I picked up for three pound. <laughs> I know, right? No one plays Snell anyway, but... It was just a funny thing. I was like, oh, this is a secret rare. Uh, three pounds and I need a copy anyway. Might as well. <laughs> I needed one copy just for my uh, collection binder for Bode. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll pay three pounds for 20 of them. I could probably shift them on for like 50p or something. Uh, <laughs> uh, Lilla Treat. Uh, Radiant Vorescence. Uh, Dimension Shifters, which I had none of, so that's a good one. The True Sun God and Aluberg. Aluberg with its 
second reprint of the year. It was in Ghosts from the Past, now it's uh, now it's here. So, Luba. Um, I can't even say it's a nice reprint, because at, at, at this point, who wants to play Despia nowadays? Who, who, who out there is... Despia players, reveal yourselves. Come out. Come out to talk. Where, 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 where art thou? Let's have you. Let's be having you. <laughs> anyway. So this is tin number eight. Number eight. Ta-da. 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 Again, I'm just struggling. I should just tear into these. It's this corner all the gosh darn time. I just can't open it. Me and my, like, wussy Portuguese hands. Man, what, what can I do, eh? What can I do? Well, it's been 25 minutes, at least, of just non-stop action. Uh, these tins are good. I love these tins. I might just, you know, buy another case and keep one sealed, and then just buy singles for the rest. It depends on the values, really. Like, if, um, like, pots are insane value, I'll try to get money back, you know. Uh, but I doubt it. Uh, Stree. Uh, Radiance. Ah, uh, Shifter. Alvian, the Essence of Vanity. And there we go! Ash Blossom! I actually needed a third because I lost my third somewhere and I haven't been able to find it. So getting another one was very welcome for me. Third Ash Blossom. That's the first one I've seen anyone pull, actually. When I was watching the tin openings, I only saw people pulling like all the like high-end spells, like um like lightning storms, droplets, pot. I didn't see any ashes, so the fact that then again, it's getting a structure deck reprint. Mm, maybe we'll see. We'll see if it'll retain some good value. But uh, it's an ash blossom, I'll take it. Uh Rune Force, Lilla Treat. Uh, Danger, Dark Roller No More, and a Red Eyes. Yeah, I forget that there's vanillas and old cards with alt arts in this. I don't know how much these alt arts are going to be worth. If they're going to be worth anything. I know that Red Eyes typically isn't, like, compared to, like, I don't know, DMG or Dark Magician or Blue Eyes, it typically isn't worth much. But, um, <laughs> I, uh, it's another Ultra Dark Roller ruler, but I already have, like, uh, like a playset of commons, two secret rares, like, I'm, I'm good, I'm good for the Dark Rulers. Like, D-Shifters, I wouldn't mind one more, because I had no copies of it. Um, and it's another good um, card for uh, Heritage of Light, a common that they made into a Ultra, which is like weird. Uh, Rocks Rose Dragon is a secret, uh, Maj Majestic's Mirage. Uh, yeah, oh, this card. I was tempted to pick up a bunch of these secret rares because I was like, this card reads broken, but it was just bait. Zoroa, the Magistus, uh, Kong, yeah, basically the the big secret rare from both that was worth nothing. Um, now, I'm glad I didn't because, yeah, there you go, common reprint. Uh, normally it's one of those cards where you think they, they're not going to reprint this, what's the point? It's not worth too much. I mean, it reads broken though. And at some point, I should try and break it for locals. Uh, I already have an idea of when I what I want to play for locals. If I pull a, if I pull a forbidden droplet, I will be playing a weird um, gusto shadow list that focuses on dumping stuff or spamming the board and not locking yourself into win and then access code OTK. Uh, but um, yeah, no, um, it's a spicy fruit. Depending on how I do at locals, uh, maybe I'll, I'll make a deck profile on that if you guys want. Uh, we're getting near the end. There's only these three plus another three, so 12 packs. Quick maths, bring quick maths. Big shack in the building. The pile of commons slash other stuff that isn't great is starting to like build up. So we got Sunvine's crossbreed again. Flundries and Mpen contact uh, contract with the abyss. AI meet you and cross out. Uh, another reprint I'm not happy about because I have the 2021 megatons like the whole set. I have play sets of everything from those dens. So my cross outs have gone down. 
But then again, I just collect them, so I really shouldn't care about the price. But cross out designator, there we go. Another decent, um, I say decent because at the moment it's not seeing much play, but it's a, it's a good uh, card. Uh, reprint this early, fair enough. Fair enough, Konami. I wouldn't have had the balls to like reprint it. The, the, reprint that card this early, but uh, I guess they want to hit it as soon as possible, like in the OCG. A little treat. Zuan Yu. Scrap Raptor, rarity bump to Ultra, really nice. Dark Infant and Rainbow Bridge of Salvation. I Is that a new tin exclusive? I believe so. Never seen that card in my life. And it's Rainbow um, Crystal Beast support for the new deck that comes out this month. I forgot what date it comes out in, but I'm picking myself three of them because, you know, you can never have too many Ash Blossom. Actually, I'll just buy a bunch to have sealed, because, you know, we all know Ash Blossom probably will raise the value of that uh, deck like the uh, Cybus, um, not Cybus, Salomon Great uh, deck. We've got Tremora, Armed Sage, Dogmatica Genesis, uh, Dramaturge, and Glacier Aquamador. Yeah, yeah. There's still a lot of dud secret rares, unfortunately. We still haven't seen a Forbidden Droplet, which I would love to see. Uh, we haven't seen a Dragoon. I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing a Dragoon because I don't have a copy of it. It'd be nice because I, I, there is a meme burn deck that I can play with Wind Witch, uh, Trickstar, and uh, the uh, <laughs> Red Eyes package. So maybe we could do some shenanigans there with uh, <laughs> Dragoon at locals. I'm just thinking of dumb, dumb, silly stuff to play. So I call that deck uh, Burn the Witch because, you know, you're playing Wind Witches, uh, Trick Stars, and uh, I think Trick Stars are Spellcasters? Or are they fairies? It doesn't matter. You get, the, you get where I'm going. You get where I'm going. So, 31 minutes. Almost at the end of opening this. And the the stuff just keeps coming. Binary Blade. DD Assault Carrier. Another Nibiru and another Ruddy Rose. Pretty good. I think that's is that a playset of Nibiru? I think it is. So if you're looking for like uh play sets of the ultras, uh picking up a tin is not bad in terms of like pull rates for the ultras. Uh, the problem is secrets. You'll probably only get like one of each uh, of the good ones, or maybe less than that. But there's so many bangers in the secret slot, like so many gosh darn bangers. Um, Kularia, uh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, Lord of the Heavenly Prison, another reprint I'm not happy about, but uh, again, bowed, secret rare. I had a play set, it's fine. We'll take those, we'll take those. Last pack of the 10th tin, and hopefully this is the one, the one with the Forbidden Droplets, please. Frost, Chill, Heritage, Sky God's Revival. People are talking about oh, not another Dramaturge. I can already see a theme. Dramaturge is going to ruin people's day. But um, speaking of the Slifer Trap, uh, people were talking about it uh, making a Slifer good. Um, I had a look at how it plays, or how people have been playing that deck, and uh, yeah, it's really funny. Uh, I'd pull it off once at Locals, I'd try it. But um, just the once though, it's very repetitive. Um, yeah, you're looking basically to set up the trap and then uh, trapping the opponent and uh, OTKing from there, or... You know, it, it, it's, it's, it's okay. Just too too much repetitive action, not many lines of play. Maybe someone else can uh, find an alternative way to play that deck, but uh, at the moment, it is uh, very, like, uh, very repetitive. Get to the trap, kill your opponent. Just like Banquet of Millions, DD Dynamite was in Master Duel, of which I will be streaming more of that on twitch.tv forward slash boompregnant. I think that's the right link. <laughs> uh, Branded Bond, Synchro Overtake, another Moo Beta Fafnir, and the Mahavelo. Right, I do not want more Moo Beta, please. Please, all I want is a Forbidden Droplet. Actually, I'm, I lie, there's loads of stuff I want from Stin still. Only pulling one uh, Lightning Storm and one, like, one more Lightning Storm would be nice because I have one already. Uh, two, uh, well, because we pulled one. 
and we had another one in our collection. Uh, Screams of the Branded, Stree, Vanity, Dark Eye Nightmare, never seen this kind in my life, and Greater Polymerization to Bait Me, Relona as a rare. Gosh darn. Uh, we have one tin left and one pack from the 11th tin. What is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Please be good uh, uh, to me. I don't know what that was, guys. I apologize for my awful, awful singing. So, Danmari, Goku Finishing Move, Baby Mud Dragon, Heavenly Zephyr Miradora, and Ghost Spell and Haunted Mansion. Another uh, secret rare hand trap I forgot was reprinted in here. Uh, actually, not a bad pull for me. I only have one. So having two now at least makes it a bit more consistent to play. On to the final ten. The final ten. Do -do -do -do. Absolutely butchering uh, this opening. I apologize, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed so far. Uh, let me know in the comments below which uh, card you'd like to pull the most in this ten, actually. Because, you know, I'd love to see. Because for me... It's any of, uh, any, like, actually not Lightning Storm as much, but probably, like, Prospy or Forbidden Droplets uh, are my two, like, most wanted pulls from this. Because they're just playable for me. They're playable. I get to show up at Locals, play, like, my really bricky decks more consistently. You know, you turn up to your Locals, you, you play your... Your Mech Knight uh, hand rip deck, and um, you cry that you're not consistent enough. Uh, he says, well, uh, not hand ripping consistently, but still winning. Uh, <laughs> Albion the Shroud of Dragon. Speaking of which, I did all my um, Judge Online um, RC1s. Oh, Diviner of the Herald, that's the first one we pulled of that. Um, not a bad little pull, actually. I'll take that. Uh, don't want to really play Drytrons. I was joking about the Drytrons slash fairy stuff. Um, maybe I can come up with something with it for a random, like, jank deck. Uh, yes, uh, as I was saying, as I'm prepping to judge, for my locals at least, uh, just to, you know, be another hand on deck there. Uh, high um, Ritual Arts, Lower Swallow, Dark Lark... Mimicking Manny, a bug, rarity bumped, and then, oh, thank God it's an Aluba. If, if that was another Dramaturge, I was gonna lose my mind. Because that card we've seen like three times already. It's the most seen secret rare from this case. Anyway, on to the very last pack, and then we'll do a, 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 an overview, I guess. Do 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 do. Please give us some forbidden drip. But it, it, the Breaking Rune, God, War Rock, Skylar. Oh, another Prospy. I will take that. Um, not Forbidden Droplets, but another Prospy. We 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 take those. That that is a sick last pack. That last pack. That is. Oh. So we got two Prospy. Um, that's that's pretty good. I'm just gonna go through and start filtering like spells, like. I, bear in mind, I only sleeve the uh, ultras that I thought were, like, really good. Um, so, so we pulled one dual tower, one lightning storm, uh, one cross out, two prospy. Really happy about the prospies. Uh, greater polymerization, eh. Small world, branded opening, two dark ruler no mores, um, branded opening. So that's for the spells. Um... It, ooh, I think you can't see it because of the way the shot is. But yeah, so that's all the spells we pulled. Prospies are so good. Um, extra deck monsters, we pulled a Mubeta of Fafnir, Ruddy Rose. Uh, we'll also put in the Red Eyes because that's a vanilla. Trouble Sunny, two Ruddy Rose, a DP, a second Mubeta, Underworld Goddess, which I'm happy about having the one, and the, Albi the Albion. Uh, so, you know, overall, not too bad. Uh, I think I would have been happy, instead of pulling the DP, uh, to pull a uh, Red Eyes Dragoon, but it is what it is. Traps, we got the Rainbow Bridge of Salvation. I think that's it. I think that's the only secret rare trap. <laughs> I only pulled the one, which is good that we didn't pull the, uh, too many duds. So we got an Aluba, Diviner, Ghost Bell, 
making sure these are within shot. Dramaturge, which was the bane of this opening. Lord of the Heavenly Prison, Nibiru, another Dramaturge, Rox Rose, Dimensional Shifter, Ash Blossom. We pulled one, which I'm really happy about. 2D Shifter, 2 Aluba, 3 Dramaturge, gosh darn it. 2 Nibiru there, an Ecclesia. Um, running out of space. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, so overall, it was a place that Nibiru's. Two armed dragon funders, uh, a ghost ogre, so one of each secret rare hand trap, an ascended sage, and two kit. Overall, not a bad little case opening. Uh, it'll be good to see what the prices uh, go for at the moment or how they stabilize um, because I think these tins are bangers. As you've seen, each tin had at least one banger pull, and uh, I'm happy about that. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time for some more Yu Gi Oh! openings. Ciao!